హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దశ్ రక్షిత్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి చెన్నా దాల్ బాల్ గ్రేవీ ఫర్ దిస్ వీ నీడ్ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ గ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ చెన్నా దాల్ ద చెన్నా దాల్ షుడ్ బీ సోక్డ్ ఇన్ వాటర్ ఫర్ త్రీ టు ఫోర్ హార్స్ ద దాల్ షుడ్ బీ సోక్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ మ్యానర్ దట్ వన్ దాల్ షుడ్ బీ బ్రోకన్ ఇన్ టూ పీసెస్ వన్ మీడియం సైజ్ చాప్డ్ ఆనియన్ tamarind that is soaked in water later we will take out pulp from it chilli powder dry chillies cumin mustard fennel seeds salt two medium size sliced tomato onions coriander garlic curry leaves oil take a pan add 3 to 4 spoons of oil allow it to heat once oil is heated add fennel mustard cumin allow it to splutter now add garlic pods curry leaves and some sliced onions Sort it well until onion becomes golden brown. Meanwhile, transfer the soaked chenna dal into a blender. Grind into a coarse paste. Add little fennel seeds, dry chilli. You can increase the quantity of dry chilli according to your taste. don't add salt the paste should be grinded in this manner coarsely add fennel chopped onions salt as per your taste add chopped coriander you can fry this balls in oil and then you can add into the gravy also but here i am going to add this ball directly into the gravy mix it well and make into a small small balls make sure that the paste should not be too watery our balls are ready our onions are completely turned golden brown now add tomatoes let it cook until it comes mashy sort it well keep your flame on medium once tomatoes becomes completely mashed add chilli powder you can increase or decrease the chilli powder as per your taste add little turmeric sort it well keep your flame on low once oil oozes out from the gravy now add tamarind pulp mix it well add 450 ml of water at this stage add salt required for the gravy mix it well keep your flame on high and allow water to boil once our gravy started boiling keep your flame on low stir it once and start adding chenna balls 
drop the ball one by one slowly keep your flame on low Hence, Chenna absorbs lots of water. You can increase the water content. Don't stir it. Cover with a plate and leave it for about ten minutes. After ten minutes, gently stir. Our ball is completely cooked. the balls had never broken or cracked just stir it gently and cover it and leave it for about 10 more minutes the gravy has thickened the balls are completely cooked at this stage add some cooked chopped coriander and transfer to the serving bowl this gravy goes well with hot hot chapati rice dosa and idli here i will show how the balls have been cooked without any cracks perfectly cooked hope you like the video thanks for watching have a happy day don't forget to 